At least 5 million people are living with dementia in the United States. But unless you or one of your loved ones has experienced the disease, it's hard to relate to just how debilitating it can be. Our Keely Arthur caught up with one initiative that puts us in their shoes. I'm at the Aging and Disability Resource Center of Dane County where they're helping workers right here in our area get an inside look of living with dementia. At any corner pharmacy, it's all about convenience. Did you find everything okay? You know what aisle to go to for paper towels, detergent, snacks, and get everything you want and need quickly. Mm -hmm. But for people living with cognitive disorders like dementia, they're dealing with you know, a brain that's not working the way it used to. The ease of simply shopping fades away. It's just too much. It's too fast. It's overwhelming. Trying to remember, you know, what they're supposed to be purchasing. What's the difference between a $50 bill and a $20 bill? may not make as much sense to them. So the ADRC of Dane County teamed up with more than a dozen Walgreens in the area for the Shop in Their Shoes program. It's great to be able to walk in their shoes for even just a couple minutes. Manager Jennifer Barrett and other workers used tape, gloves, popcorn. Popcorn kernels in your shoes to cause pain. Cotton balls as earplugs and goggles. Um, so it really limits the vision. To dull their senses and mimic the kind of uncomfort people suffering may have. I didn't even think it was going to be that hard and once I put the equipment on it made a huge difference. While Walgreens workers only walked in the shoes of a dementia patient for a few minutes, their brief struggle has given them an added sense of compassion for what it means to struggle every day. And that's going to help them feel welcome and accepted in their, you know, in their community. And because of its success at Walgreens, the ADRC is hoping to roll out this program to other stores in our area. In Madison, Keely Arthur, WISC News 3. And if you're looking for more information or resources on living with dementia, you can visit DaneADRC.org.